today I will be remaking my old and terrible DNA video. Trust me, even if this video is bad, it'll be better than my last one. Whoa, so satisfying. Bro. See, that was my last one. And yikes. This project got me like 97%, so you can probably trust me. I'll try my best to make this entertaining for you all, but let's see how I do. Also guys, subscribe so I can make money from YouTube. <laughs> And also, I guess, enjoy the video. What's up, kids? I'll be teaching you about DNA today. Yay! And quick disclaimer, I'll be using all the info from my last video, so it's probably valid, but I guess it's not 100% certain that it is. I'm already done on my bio, so I really don't have to care about it anymore. And after those very peaceful explosions, the video really starts. Let's start with the size of DNA. This is a cell nucleus, and it'll help us explain. How? Well, I can use a cell nucleus as the cell. So this is now a cell, and the main part, the main focus, is the orange part, the nucleus. And so you don't get confused, let me change this. This is probably a more reasonable size too. And if you learned anything about cells, you'd probably know they're not visible to the naked eye. Like I said, DNA is very small. Let's now zoom in to the nucleus. We're now seeing the nucleus in better detail. The DNA itself isn't visible yet, so let's zoom in again. Now we can see all the DNA wrapped into X's. Well, maybe you'll have to use your imagination for this one. When you unwrap these, you'll find the DNA. And there it is in all its beauty. This is a better recreation of my last model. But how did I build all of this? Let's go through it together. We start off with a base plate, and then we add those two more pieces. First, we add some 1x2 bricks. Next, we add two more 1x2s, this time with holes in the middle. To differentiate these from the rest, we'll add gray studs. And this time, I used all Lego pieces instead of stickers like last time. I have improved as a human being. Now it's time to make a few more of these. I wanted to take a second to thank you all for watching this far, because usually people don't watch this far, and every minute you watch helps me get closer to making money from YouTube. Now we've got the final six built, and now we add the gray studs. And of course, two of the gray studs disappeared. Love to see it. I did find the pieces after 20 to 30 minutes. And on to the next part. Here I'm adding these studs to these 1x8 pieces. Now we put everything together. And why do I put these on after? Well, I've learned from my past mistakes. This is a clip from my last video, which obviously didn't end well. And just like that, we finished the model. Whoa, so sad as- No, that, that's enough. It does look cool though. Now let's find out what every piece represents. The 1x2 bricks, they just are there. They really don't have a purpose. The 1x2 bricks with the gray stud represent the phosphates. The sides of the long gray pieces represent the sugar. Now let's check out every row staircase thing I added. On this row, we have the adenine and thymine. And here we have the guanine and the cytosine. And now a bonus section, where I destroy it in many different ways. First off, we got the punch. Wow. That was alright, but we can do better. This time we've got Pepsi, and it did nothing. But on the second try, that's better. Now we've got the Lego Jesus. Whoops. Looks like DNA is pretty strong, it broke Jesus in two. But now the strongest of all, the burger. 
After recording this clip, I knew the video was over, I did not want to clean everything up. And I still haven't found all the pieces. But hopefully destroying that made you subscribe, or at least like the video. But I thank you for watching, hope you have a terrific day, and hopefully maybe you even learn something. And this is it for me, I'm Lego Jesus. Peace. Oh.